Uh, Frick, uh, welcome to Denmark again. Thank you. Um, so far, what, what have been, uh, it's been the highlights of, of your Spot Festival? Uh, the, one of the highlights was the very first thing I saw, which was this duo murder. Um, I guess they have this album with Stockholm Syndrome, which I didn't really know anything about, but I went because I heard about them and I was curious, and it was 8 o'clock, so um, I went to the gig, and I thought they were fantastic. And what I didn't realize at the time was that some of the musicians that were playing with them on cello and other instruments were also part of the next band, Dow, from Belgium. And what happened was they actually did this very interesting changeover where they, everybody continued playing, but the musicians sort of switched back and forth so that you really had like a, a seamless hour and a half performance, which I thought was, it was a great surprise because normally you get 40 minute showcases. The band plays 40 minutes and goes off 40 minutes and off. And so you have this kind of artificial rhythm, whereas this was a genuine performance. And it was a surprise because I don't think people expected that to happen. So the audience was really into it as well. Yeah, you know, the combination of, the, of that event plus the way people were reacting to it really made it a great way to start the festival. I thought they were great. Um, I really liked the uh, Nordic Songwriters uh, thing yesterday. Uh, again, most of these were people that I didn't know, and in a couple of cases they didn't even sing in English. Of course, nobody does their stage announcements in English, so I'm always a little let's see. But I thought some of the songwriting in it was really, really good, and you know, they were the kind of songs that I would actually buy on a record if I had the chance, which, you know, to hear something like that for the first time, that, you know, was really a lot of fun. After Klon, it's fantastic. Um, and I got to see the Blue Van play in, uh, you know, a late night gig over at the studios, and they were brilliant. I've already written about them, I love them to death, but they had a lot of new material, and you could hear that they were growing and changing as a band in, in really good ways. So to be able to see, it, the, that was actually their first gig playing all this new material since they made the record. So that was really special. That's one of the reasons I keep coming back. I always yeah. get something special yeah, because and I get a surprise. This is your uh, fifth time uh, at the Spot Festival. Uh, and I think, why is it uh, still interesting for uh, an American journalist to, to come back to Denmark and uh, listen to Danish Nordic music? Well, I'm interested in music, period. And I'm interested in music that I haven't heard before. It's, they, there's a lot of it here. I keep getting invited back and it would seem foolish not to come because, you know, I never know when I'm going to see something really special. That's why I go to South by Southwest every year. I went to a, 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 an export music festival in Finland where I saw a lot of good stuff. I go to Iceland Airwaves whenever I can. I really go, I go to see, I'll go anywhere to see music if I can. And the fact that I'm able to get here, I'm invited, people are very generous and very hospitable. Plus, I get to hear a lot of music that just surprises me and makes me want to know more. I've also made a lot of friends here, and that's that's a really good reason for coming back, because I get to see friends again. I got to hang out with the guys backstage from the Blue Van and talk to them and find out what they were doing. And, you know, that was a band I first saw here, I guess, in 2003, and saw them play in the U.S. And, you know, I've got a chance to watch them develop and turn into a really great band. And to be able to come back here, see them, you know, play a surprise thing. You know, those are the kind of events I come here for. Okay. Finally, um, is there anything that the Spot Festival could, could do better? Is there anything that you, you're missing here? Uh, anything that I'm missing? I'm not really missing anything. Uh, I think you need to turn the volume up in that tent. <laughs> the volume, it's not loud enough. No, but you know, um, we have a law here. I that realize to, that, I, and I understand these issues. I live in a big city, you know, noise can get on your nerves, but the figurines weren't loud enough. Uh, but that's a different problem. I, you know, things have changed. You know, the scheduling is a little strange because of the way things are staggered this year. So that you actually have hours where things are kind of down, and then you have six all in one shot, and you got to make your decision about what you're going to go see. That's a little different, and it's a little frustrating if there's like three or four things in the same time period. But, you know, to complain about it would be sort of unfair, you know. I'm, I'm having a good time, and, you know, the things that I do say I really enjoy. So, I don't, don't fool around. No, it's, it's fine. Good. Just make it louder. Yeah. Okay, I think that was it.
Okay. 